Hi, I'm John Johnson. and I'm going to demonstrate proper tire changing procedures, including the use of jacks, tools, safe vehicle placement, tire identification, and ways to make the task easier and avoid the pitfalls that can spell disaster. The production of this video is intended to provide visual references to written instructions found in the department's manual of operations, vehicle's owner manuals, and factory decals placed in most vehicles. Now, this video is not intended to supersede or replace vehicle factory instructions. If there's any doubt, contact the appropriate vehicle dealership or your area mechanic or the fire shops. Now I'm going to explain some of the tools that you'll be seeing throughout the video. This is called a scissor jack. It has a threaded rod that runs to the each end. When it's turned clockwise, it draws the ends in and raises the top. Counterclockwise will lower it. You'll find these on most small cars. The next tool I want to show you is the hydraulic bottle jack. The principle behind this jack is liquids cannot be compressed. Close this valve. There is a reservoir inside here that when you use this pump to pump it up, it fills up this cylinder. The cylinder raises. Also on the top, if you need a little bit more space, you can extract this screwed in head. Then when you want to lower it, open the valve slowly and it will roll down. I know most of you know this jack. It's a floor jack. It works in the same principle as the bottle jack we just saw, except it lays in here sideways. One thing I want to mention about all these jacks is they have weight limits. Before you put any of these jacks under a vehicle, you need to know the weight of the vehicle and the load capacity of the jack you intend to use. Now this floor jack here has a capacity of three and a half tons. You can use this to raise one wheel of an F-350 squad or an F-450 patrol, but you can't lift any part of a truck or a pumper because just one side of an axle is over 9,000 pounds. So know the weight of your vehicle and check the weight capacity of your jack. Make sure it's rated for more than what you're lifting. Let's go into the torque multiplier. Here's a quick demonstration of how this tool operates. There are gears in the head of the multiplier that change the number of turns the socket would make compared with the ratchet. For example, a 4 to 1 ratio would mean 4 turns of the ratchet equals 1 turn of the socket. Thereby, the force applied to the ratchet will be 4 times greater at the socket. Another result of this gearing is the opposite action of the ratchet handle to the multiplier handle. Okay, let's go to the torque wrench. That accompanies the torque multiplier. Now we need to achieve 450 to 500 pound, foot pounds of torque. So to achieve this, we need to go to the graph on here that says 120 foot pounds. Crank the handle over until we get to that point. Now 120 on the torque wrench is because we have a 4 to 1 ratio. So that gives us 480 foot pounds of torque. Remember to keep your tools clean and in good working order. Next, I'm going to show you how to change tires on four different vehicles. See you there.